All-in-one SEO versus Yoast SEO, which one should you go with? So before I get into this video, uh, first of all, what qualifies me to talk about these plugins and determine which one is better? Well, first of all, I've been doing SEO for a few years now. And on top of that, I've used uh, both Yoast SEO and All-in-one SEO. So let's get straight into this. So Yoast SEO versus All-in-one SEO or All-in-one SEO pack as it's called now. Which one should you go with? Well, honestly, it doesn't matter which one you go with. Why? Because they do the exact same thing. Let's look at the description for the all-in-one SEO pack. And let's take a look. Okay, XML sitemap support. Um, there's Google AMP support, uh, Google Analytics support, um, canonical URLs, uh, redirects, um, meta tags automatically um, compatible with many other plugins so that's pretty much it so you get the idea and uh, let me just compare it to yoast seo and what you'll notice is the same thing as, as you can see xml sitemap um, title and meta description templating um, that's nothing too great um, and it pretty much does the exact same thing again i've used both and they're the same thing right you, you're getting the exact same thing yoast comes with a, a, a few more features however that's not going to make or break your website right the the biggest reasons why you're going to want to use these plugins is just to uh, edit the title the google title and meta description right those are the main things that these uh uh SEO plugins are going to do. Yoast it goes a little bit further. Uh, it, it teaches you about readability, right? You can see the read readability score. However, that doesn't matter too much um, because again, it's an artificial number, right? When you see the green uh, lights, uh, meaning good, but the, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to rank or not if you got the red or the green. Um, however, people like it like that. So if you're into that kind of stuff, um, you enjoy taking off certain criteria um, that you believe will help your rank. Um, Yoast may be better for you. Uh, All-in-one SEO is a bit more lighter than Yoast. It comes with um, less features. However, it's just as effective as Yoast SEO. So which one should you actually go with? Well, it depends which one you're using. I personally, I started off with All-in-one SEO when I got into SEO. And then I switched to Yoast. Uh, because I had uh, a few more features that I wanted to uh, use because of my SEO, because um, I was learning SEO. And which one should you choose? Well, if you're already using Yoast SEO, stick with Yoast SEO. If you're already using All-in-One SEO, stick with All-in-One SEO. There's no need to switch to either one. Okay, so what if you're hiring an agency? Let's just say you're hiring ClickDo to do your SEO. Which one should you go with? Um, you don't decide, right? Let the SEOs, let the agency decide which uh, plugin they want to install on your website. Let them decide because um, they're going to be doing your SEO, right? Not you, the agency is. So let them decide if you're uh, handing over your website, your SEO to a marketing agency. If you're doing SEO yourself, um, stick with uh, the SEO plugin you've already got installed whether that's Yoast or all-in-one SEO now if you're thinking of uh, creating a new website and uh, maybe you have already created a new website but you don't know which one to go with Yoast SEO or all-in-one SEO pack well I personally use Yoast because um, there's a few more features um, but maybe you should go with all-in-one SEO I would actually recommend this instead uh, the reason being is because it's a lot lighter and there's there's not as much uh cri things you have to go with right with Yoast SEO you can edit things like breadcrumbs and that type of stuff um it's a bit more advanced and nothing too crazy though so if you're a, a non techy kind of person then uh all in one SEO um if you can handle uh, a bit of tech you don't mind um the learning curve right just a bit of learning then you're probably better sticking with Yoast SEO um the main reason why it's because if you're new to SEO, this is only if you're new. Um, let me just load this up. Uh, this is just one of my sites. So the reason why 
Uh, if you're a beginner, I recommend you stick to Yoast SEO is because of these criteria. Uh, once it loads or is it on top? Uh, let me just quickly check. Da -da -da. And yes, okay, so the reason why is because of this criteria. You see the keyword tab? It's going to go over a few things like um, I'm pointing at the screen here. I don't know what I'm doing. You can't see me. So it'll tell you about the nofollow links. Um, it'll tell you if the SEO title contains the focus keyword. Um, it'll tell you if the SEO keyword appears in the URL. So it actually tells you to tick off certain things like the alt text on your images. Also the readability if you're into that kind of thing. However, I wouldn't really pay much attention to that. Um, so yeah, if you're trying to learn SEO, um, I would recommend this if you're a beginner. The reason being is because uh, it teaches you a little bit about search engine optimization and it teaches you to get the on-page SEO right. So that's pretty much it for this video. So like I said, it doesn't matter which one you have. They do the exact same thing and it's not going to make a big difference, right? Your, your rankings are not going to uh, skyrocket because you chose Yoast or All-in-One. Right, stick with whichever one you want and just just stick with that, right? And if you just get into SEO, I would recommend Yoast SEO because of the criteria uh, that it shows. So, yeah.